For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this exercise that says a signal source that is most conveniently represented by its Norton equivalent. Norton equivalent looks something like this. has a 10 picoamp IS, so this is 10, and an RS of 100K. If the source fills a load RL, this is RL, find the current IO, this will be IO, that flows through the load with all these different resistances of RL. And then find the largest value of RL so that the current is 80% the stored current. So I'm going to build a little table. Let's say RL. Let's say we got IL in milliamps and IL in. All right. So the different values for RL are 1K, 10K, 100K, and 1 mega. I'm going to write 1 mega as 1000K. Whenever you're building tables like this, it's good to be consistent with the units and also with the formula. That way you don't get confused. So let's come up with a formula for IO. We're going to use the current divider in order to find IO. Current divider, to calculate this current right here going through IO, IO is equal to the original current coming out which is 10 times the resistance of the other arm which is RS over the sum of the two resistances plus RL. So when we replace some numbers, we get that this is 100K. This is 100K. And these are the different values from this table. So when you plug in the different values for RL into this formula right here, the pico is going to cancel with the K, and you're going to get the answer in milliamps. So as you plug in these different values, these are the values that you're going to be getting. For 1 kilo, you're going to get 0 0.0099 milliamps. For 10K, you're going to get 0 0.00909 milliamps. For 100K, you're going to get 0 0.005 milliamps. And for 1 mega or 1000K, you're going to get 0 0.000909 milliamps. And when you convert it to, to Pico, you get 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, you just move the decimal space 3 times to the right and you get 9.9 and 0 0.909 sorry that's you and then they want you to find the resistance that will give you at least 80 percent so basically you're gonna rewrite this formula this formula at the bottom IO has to be equal to 80 percent of the original current coming out 80 percent of 10 is obviously 0 0.8 times 10 is 10 you just rewriting the formula and 
and when you solve for RL and we solve for RL you get that RL is equal to 25 kilo ohms because the U divides with the U so this is a unitless and the rest all that's left is kilo ohms so final answer and final answer for all the currents please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you